like to move this TV mad. I met your host with the most just asked your girlfriends and your wives. You can follow me on Twitter at Movies TV Mad. Yes, we have just seen trailer, full trailer number one for the Doctor Who's 60th anniversary. It's British, it's unique, it's for the fans, it's made by talented fans, and I'm so proud of Doctor Who. It was an exquisitely done promotion. People are screaming, it's too early for trailers for the 60th anniversary. Oh no, it's not. It's panto season, right? Oh no, it's not. Let me hear you. So basically, why we've got such early promotion for the Doctor Who 60th anniversary? Because the general audience left with Russell T Davies and he's back to make Doctor Who primetime and mainstream, to make it the show it was when he brought it back in 2005. I quote Russell in saying, I wouldn't have come back unless I was doing something extremely different. One thing I actually noticed from this trailer, it's like RTD is picking up where he left off. This seems like the end of time part two. Could it be called that? The end of time part two. Well, there isn't actually an official title for the 60th anniversary special. I have heard rumours there's three episodes and not just one of this. We know we're going to get a Christmas Day special this time next year, but we're going to get a huge you know, 60th anniversary special on November the 23rd. Russell has teased that we're not ready for the kind of surprises we're going to see next year. What do you think we're going to see? But we're seeing some very interesting things in this trailer. Was it me or did we see the Cybermen attacking? I think we did. Hilarious moment when um, the Doctor, aka David Tennant, Doctor number 14, beard if you believe he's actually the Doctor, but he's hiding behind Donna's mum. And I think that's hilarious because obviously Donna can't see him or she will die. So they're continuing that strand. The Doctor says, I don't believe in destiny, but if, if, if there is such a thing, it's following Donna Noble. We see this white kind of Furby type of creature as well. A mysterious figure walking into the shop that doesn't look like David Tennant or Neil Patrick Harris, who absolutely looks tremendous. He's such a talent. He's been a talent since Doogie Howser. Well done to Russell T Davies for getting him in. But, uh, and that music, it seems very Murray Gold. Did Murray Gold compose that music? We don't know who's going to be doing the music for RTD2, the second era of the Russell T Davies era. I'm so excited, as you can tell. I'm so hyped. I've been re-watching the revival, this magnificent revival that's been going since 2005. I'm on the Capaldi era, and I'm so excited right now. But... Hold your horses, we've got to wait till November. David Tennant is going to be the Doctor at least till November the 23rd. We don't see anything we haven't seen of Shooty Gatwar. It's him saying, what the hell is going on here? I'm sorry, Doctor number 15, if that's who you, your number truly is. Someone said to me, I'm getting carried away here. Let me finish what I said, I'm too hyped. Uh, but yes, I'm in my robe and I apologise. But yeah, I'm... I need to have a shave. I've been delayed by so many things and so many people. But I'm sorry, Doctor Number 15. Uh, I can't help you with what's going on here because I don't have a clue either. And um, as the Doctor says, the moment I know everything, th that'll be the moment I stop travelling. And so some very interesting things. It does feel like we are picking up where we left off um, with the end of time back in 2009. This is something I did suspect that Russell would pick up strands in his new era um, from where he left off. So that's interesting, kind of leaving behind what Moffat and Chibnall did and doing his own thing. But by bringing Donna back, it's very, very interesting in the sense of, you know, we are picking up strands of where he left off. And we're picking up on the whole thing with Donna Noble and basically the doctor wiping her mind at Journey's End, back in, was it 2008? I think it was 2008 that episode aired. So it's very mysterious. It's very exciting. Nobody was really expecting a trailer today. It's great. And as I say, it's not too early. Doctor Who has lost a lot of its general audience, as I said, on top of the show. And it's very important for Russell to, you know, Russell's back for a reason, because he's so talented and he knows how to appeal Doctor Who to the general audience. 
and that's the game here. So I've probably missed so many details from this trailer. Um, I'm going to have to go back and watch it a billion more times. But let me know what you thought of this trailer. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Yes, and I forgot. He said Alonze. Of course, big cheers, I'm sure, in every household, uh, Doctor Who household around the world, because we love him saying Alonze. So, was it Alonze? Alonze? Anyway, I don't know how he says it, but he said it. Uh, that's the most important thing. So, lots of things going on here. We really don't get it. This is going to be the last time we see the late, great Bernard Cribbins as well. So, it looks like we've got Cybermen. Um, we've got a mysterious figure walking into a shop. We've got a Furby kind of character as well. Uh, we've got a brand new villain. And how can David Tennant be the Doctor again? That's the explanation we need. Now, the, the extra scenes we saw with David, he's absolutely on song as the Doctor again. He hasn't dropped a fucking note. It's, it's tremendous. It's tr look, it's tremendous to have David back. Uh, you know, people complaining that he's back. It's the 60th anniversary. He's the most popular doctor there's ever been, probably apart from Tom Baker. But, you know, in terms of the modern era of Doctor Who, he's been, you know, people love him. And, you know, households around the world, you know, like everyone loves Henry Cavill and everyone was upset when Henry Cavill was removed as Superman. You know, this is how people feel about David Tennant. He's so popular as this character. And of course, he's not sticking around forever. This is to celebrate 60 years of Doctor Who. So we want to get as many kind of previous Doctors, uh, you know, as we can. Now, a lot of people saying to me, how can we still be numbering the Doctor since the Timeless Child and the Timeless Children? Well, basically, in the Timeless Child era, he wasn't the Doctor, or they wasn't the Doctor. So... You know, that was a different era of the character. So we don't really know what the name of the character was then. And I don't think the Doctor actually named themselves until maybe they became a Time Lord. But I don't think when we see Tek Yoon find the Doctor, I don't think they were calling themselves, obviously they weren't calling themselves the Doctor then. So you can still carry on with saying this is the Doctor and that, yeah, that a William Hartnell is Doctor Number One because it's from that character, basically, and that iteration that the Doctor started calling um, themselves the Doctor. That's how I see it. That's how you take the confusion away from this crazy situation of the Timeless Child. But I thought it was a brilliant trailer. I wanted to see more and more. I didn't expect to see more and more. It's not a complaint. I can't wait till November. It's exciting to love Doctor Who. It's one thing that we can sit back and enjoy together. So until I see you again, goodbye, au revoir, I'll feel the same. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, like, share and subscribe and I will be back tomorrow. Sorry about the robe, but I really need to get ready and I wasn't going to get changed all over again before I have a shave. Anyway, we spoke about the trailer. It was fun. I'm hyped. I'm pumped. See you again soon.